Hello students, my name is Greg Kalin, Training and Safety Supervisor for the City of Fort Smith Utility Department. Today we're talking about what traffic signs are trying to tell us to do. Signs are there to protect road users, which include drivers, pedestrians, construction workers, and even someone riding a bike. Did you know that every day there are hundreds of cars, bicycles, and pedestrians that share the road? So with all of that traffic, how do we avoid everyone from crashing into each other and getting hurt? Well, everyone including drivers and pedestrians have to follow directions. We do that by following signs like traffic signals and stop signs. If you think about it, your school can be a lot like driving on the road. Your first day of school, you had to find your classroom, right? You probably did this by finding the sign with the name of your teacher on the classroom door. This is the same way we find our way around town, by finding the street name at the corner of the block. When the custodian places a wet floor sign in front of the restrooms, it's saying, do not enter, the restrooms are closed. This is similar to a road close sign in our construction zone, saying, the road is closed. When I was in school, I volunteered to be a crossing guard. A crossing guard holds out a flag to stop traffic until everyone can safely cross the street. This is just like a flagger that we use in our construction work zones. Just because we have signs doesn't mean that drivers will follow them. And when that happens, people can get hurt. That is why we have police officers to enforce the signs. A good example is a police officer making sure everyone follows the speed limit. In your schools, you have teachers and principals that help the students follow the rules. How many times did your teacher say to you, no running in the hallway? Your teacher is basically saying, do not speed. Since you already know the rules in your school, we made a short presentation to show you some of the rules to follow while on the street. I know you're saying, but I don't even drive a car yet. No, you're right. But if you ride a bike or walk on the sidewalk, you are sharing the roadway with other drivers. And by knowing the rules, you can help make it safer for all road users. Now, our traffic safety specialist is going to explain the signs that we should follow while sharing the road. Hello students, my name is Tommy Shelton. I'm the traffic safety specialist for the Fort Smith Utility Department. Before I talk about what some of the signs mean, did you know that sign colors and shapes are also important? Like a triangle is only used for yield signs. Octagons are only used for stop signs. And the diamond shaped sign is used as a warning to let you know of an obstacle that you will be approaching. Now let's talk about the sign colors. Red means stop. We've all seen that at stoplights. White signs are signs that regulate what we can do. Now these signs can be anything from a speed limit sign that tells us how fast we can drive to a sidewalk closed or road closed sign to tell us if we can go down a certain path. Imagine you're riding your bicycle down a sidewalk you come up to the sign that says sidewalk closed. What would you do? Now this sign is telling you that the sidewalk is either blocked off by some work that is being done, or maybe the sidewalk has even been removed. The correct thing to do when you see a sidewalk closed sign would be to use the crosswalk and go to the other side of the road so that you don't possibly ride your bike into a hole and get hurt. Yellow signs are a normal caution message and tell us of a hazard we're approaching. Orange signs are used for construction. Now, orange signs are very important. Like we learned, orange signs are for the construction job, and these signs are important to everyone. They are warning us of construction that we are driving up into, and in addition to warning us, they also tell us what we need to do when we get to the construction. Here, you can see why these signs and cones are so important. The signs are warning us that we need to move over. As we get up to the construction, there is a flashing arrow and cones moving us into the safe lane. This separates drivers from workers to help keep everyone safe. 